Wow, 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 wow. Honestly, you guys, we are looking terrible right now. We are not looking like a team. And for me, the main thing that is frustrating me and getting on my nerves right now are these constant tactical shifts. The reality is simply this right now. Maybe in the 24-25 season, you know, the 23-24 season, the football makes sense. The players will understand what to do, when and where, when we're shifting things tactically. But right now, now that you've just taken over, unfortunately, the reality is that this football club, Champions League football has to be secured. That is the number one goal to get, yeah? And I'm sorry, the implementation of getting these guys ready to be coached with this new way of playing, it's not it right now. It's not making sense right now. This is the second game in a row now where a change has come in the second half to try and bring us forward, to try and help us attack more, and then we're out of the game. Every tactical plan we're starting with is not the same one we're ending with. And I'm looking at the players in the field. I'm seeing all these guys looking lost, looking confused. I mean, I'm looking at guys like Conor Gallagher. I mean, the guy started as an attacking mid, then second half he plays as a wing back, and then later on he ends the game playing as a box to box mid. Looking at Trevor Chalaba playing centre back, then right, uh, then right back in the end. You know, these constant shifts and changes. Like, how is it really going to work during a time like this, a congested period like this, yeah? Where there's no time to work on things to build understanding. It's not making sense. And it's just showing, like, for me, a criminal lack of confidence at this point in time. It's over complication for no reason. Stick to the basics. Stick to a style of football these guys can at least build something a little bit from. It's for me, it has to be done right now because this is clearly not working. You know, I understand some things are difficult. You know, we pick up an injury in the third minute of this game with Ruben coming off the fields. I could see the game plan of isolating him on the right hand side to go 1v1 could have been helpful to get us forward up the field at least compared to the minimal amount of counter attacks we were creating in that first half here. I get that. I understand that injuries to your Kantes, Fafanas, so many players right now, that's going to impede things and make things a bit harder. But during times of difficulty, stick to the basics a little bit. I thought that was the plan today. I thought in the first half, we dropped the lines back, we defended. You know, we defended most of the game in that, in that first half playing 5-4-1 with Gallagher, Mason Mount, having to drop back in midfield, having to do a lot of dirty work and groundwork which unfortunately meant that they couldn't quickly support Armando Breyer up front as many times as they want to. It meant that when they're receiving the ball, they've got two Newcastle players on them time and time again, and it comes down to this pitiful midfield we have. Like, when I'm online, when I'm on Twitter, when I'm seeing opinions, the amount of hate that goes towards your mounts, that goes towards your Gallagher's, these few players that take the brunt of every poor game we have, it's actually so stupid. It's actually so dumb. For me, the biggest culprits I've been seeing in this team for so long is this poor, pitiful midfield. I am done. I'm so bored of these short passing merchants who don't introduce nothing to the game. And the thing is, yeah, Jorginho and Kovacic have been mid for the entirety of this season. They have not stepped up. They're not playing well. I'm looking at Kovacic today. You know, giving the ball away in sloppy areas, forcing silly passes, over carrying the ball as well too. Jorginho, you know, refuses to play anything off the ground. When I'm seeing options, I saw Lewis Hall in one moment where he's free on the left hand side, you know, calling for it, his arms are up. That's a quick switch ball to quicken the pace of the play up, you know, force Newcastle back. Instead, you're passing it into congestion time and time again. You know, these guys have not leveled up since we bought them. They have not improved what we do. They have not gone to the next level. When players at big clubs like us have plateaued and are showing signs that they can't go anymore than what they're currently showing, you sell them and you move them on because midfield is the most important area of, a, of any team to build that core identity and function. You need That's where your style is created from. How is a midfield playing and moving the ball? Our midfield need protection from the offensive players time and time again because they don't track runs, their positioning can be poor and when it comes to then creating attacking opportunities, they can't do it. I'm looking at Mateo Kovacic, my God, one of the worst performances of the season and these are the two type of players though, where if they're not on form, if things aren't going their way, their heads drop and you see the application of the field go down and down and down. Now, 
You look at the goal that Newcastle scored. Top quality goal from Willock. And I was kind of thinking to myself, that comparison of the goal that Willock scored, you know, the form Newcastle are in, a team with an identity that know what they're doing. And you look at a Newcastle team where, like, last year, for most of last season, they were near the bottom half of the table. Look at them right now. You would never imagine it. Guys like Willett, some of these guys being clowned who are still core parts of their team. Look how they played against us. Look at the fear you could say in which we played against Newcastle. Look at that. Compare the difference. You know, we are spending millions on these players. We're giving them hundreds of thousands a week as well too. You know, it's just getting ridiculous now. If you want to level this team up, you have to make the big calls and you have to get rid of certain players. And for me, the midfield has to go because it has not improved whatsoever. And I don't care what anyone says here. I look at fundamental causes and issues. Who are the guys that affect how other people play? And for me, most of these seniors are affecting the young potential of the players. I'm looking at someone like Pulisic where I'd always have hope for this guy, but I'm seeing him plateau. I'm looking at Mason out now. I'm starting to feel like he's plateauing a little bit as well too. I'm seeing a lot of these guys. You know, if you're going to focus on top quality young players to take you forward in the future, these seniors we've got around them, these aren't the guys to take them absolutely anywhere, yeah? That's not going to be the case whatsoever. People need to wake the hell up. I'm getting sick and tired of how they're constantly never being criticised for nothing. I, what, what game are you watching? Are we seeing the same game? It's... So it's madness to me. It's absolute madness to me. And I'm getting sick and tired of it, yeah? <sighs> Honestly, you guys, it just feels like another one of these nothing games where, you know, as I'm really stressing this constant tactical shifts, I'm not seeing the benefits. I would have accepted just grinding this result. I thought that was the main game plan. I thought the reason why I'd be even drop the defensive lines against Newcastle. The reason why Breuer is playing up front to offer that counter-attacking threat, to run the channels, to be the option wide. The reason why we had your, you know, Mounts and Gallagher's playing as attacking mids. You know, I'm sorry. Both these guys won't ever be world-class players playing there. They're books books midfield players. You know, this is getting ridiculous now. You know, we've got the options and the talent that can do something here, yeah? Yeah, we keep sticking to a lot of these guys who will never get better than what, they are, what they've shown all these years. I'm looking at Zakaria. Why is this guy not even getting minutes in the team? I thought we signed a DM, a ball winning midfield player. He's not playing. The guy's played two games and he's looked decent. Why is he not getting any confidence and opportunities? Especially when the guys ahead of him have not been good enough and have not been playing well enough and don't lead the team or do anything. Wow, it's just like... The, the definition of an insanity for me. I'm seeing the same stupid mistakes season by season. I'm baffled. I'm baffled. Potter, go back to basics. Stop overcomplicating this shit now. It's not making sense. This is what Tuchel did that was sick. When he came in, he knew exactly how we're going to play such to the structure. Of course, in the end, it was never going to level us up to help us really compete for the league. Of course, when you're losing out on certain players, you have to go in the market. Tuchel himself is saying things like, Listen, all of these guys were signing are just maintaining status quo. They're not really improving us because of some of the options we left. You know, I can't build from it. I understand that. For me, I felt the way we played football, of course, is benefiting your Covers, your Georges, all these guys that were never going to become world-class players. And it was just impeding on the talents of the young talents that we had. This is the contradiction that wasn't making sense. And it's why in the end, offensively, we had no ideas, no nothing. And... That's as good as we could get under him, really. And then in the end, he was moved on. But I think Potter, if you want to make sure you're here in the long term, you can't be doing this thing of swapping tactics like every 20 minutes in the game. I mean, come on. You're giving the team absolutely nothing to work with, for God's sake. How is it making any sense now? You know, you're giving the advantage to teams. Teams who are structured, who have an identity that have been playing together for time. We keep losing it during these stupid tactical shifts, left, right and centre, and then we're out of the game because we don't have any of the patterns of play or understanding to play through these teams. It's, it's too much, Porter. It's too... Bring it back to basics now, yeah? Otherwise, you're going to create a situation where there'll be more bad blood brewing behind the scenes. A lot of players will be angry and upset. And then when that starts to happen, normally as a manager, your time is then starting to come to an end. I hope it's not going to be the case because, my God, you guys, you know, if we're going to level up as a club, we have to have some brutal, tough decisions. All you guys focusing on the wrong players, the wrong targets of your frustration, you know? Can you really supplement top players like Liao, 
top players like Nkunku with guys like Kovacic, Jorginho, plus I'm even looking at Koulibaly for God's sake. I'm going to be, I'm, the reason why I've been a lot harsher on him is because he's signed at 31 years old. He's in the prime of his career. It's different standards when you're 31. It's not Rudiger when he came as a 23, 24 year old and had the license to grow and improve. You already peaked as it is. And the struggles I'm seeing from this guy, you know, collective failure down that left hand side of Jorginho and Kovacic, you know, leaving too many gaps out wide. And then Koulibaly, you know, once he's, he has to move by to try and defend and, 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 and tackle and, 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 and prevent dribblers running past him, he can't do it. He's showing he can't do it. You know, Lewis Hall, you know, credit to the kids. Wow, what an introduction, you know, first Prem debut. Tough battle versus Newcastle. These guys were going in hard. It was a battle on that field. And I give credit to the kids, yeah, for stepping up and showing he was willing to have that fight as well too. He's not getting proper support or protection from him. Ball over the top from over Lewis Hall. And then Kula Bali just gets done differently by Almiron. And what does this guy do when he panics? He just, oh, he just literally throws. He goes for these silly, ambitious tackles. And these ambitious tackles are silly slide tackles that are easily read because the opponent knows that they've got in his head and he's panicking. Always giving away a stupid yellow card, trying to win an impossible ball for no reason. This looks like some schoolboy shit to me, I'm sorry. This doesn't look like someone who's 31 years old, supposed to be the best centre-back in Serie A when he left to come to us. I'm not seeing that at all. You know, I'm looking at some of these guys who I feel are weaknesses, are weaknesses that affect the performance and ability of other players. I'm sorry, Potter, you need to have to make some brave damn decisions now, you know? Some brave decisions. A lot of these guys have to go eventually. Hopefully January something can happen. But there's solutions in this team right now. Turn to Zakaria. Give this guy an opportunity. Revert to using books to books mid. Stop using our midfield players in attacking mid positions where our wingers then can't play. You know, we, want, we need to get a different type of creativity now because we're not getting it playing this football. It's just like you're trying to maintain what Tuchel did whilst bringing something else new in. It's all this contradictions is going absolutely nowhere. And listen, if you want to be in the long run to be able to take control of us and push us to those levels you think you can bring us to, you need to step up what you're doing in the short term because this equally matters right now, yeah? Honestly, like the amount of games we're losing in a row, this is... I can't remember the last time we really seen this. Maybe it was maybe Lampard when I was at bad. It's actually mad and baffling. To be fair, no, no real attacking threat, no nothing. And listen, I gave my two cents on why I think what I think the issues are. And yeah, honestly, guys, just the frustration and anger is nah, nah, nah. It's, it's, it's not the one. So I'm gonna just end things now before I start getting too mad. Share your thoughts and opinions. I don't know what you guys are saying about this game, but uh, yeah, see you in a bit.